What is up YouTube, Chase right here. I'm gonna teach you how to get more memory on your iOS device. So yeah, there's actually a way, there's actually an app that will actually give you more storage on your iOS device. So yeah, this is very useful for the people who have the 5, the 5S, 6, 6S, uh, that have the 16 gigabyte um, option. This is very useful for you guys when you're running iOS 10. So I'm gonna actually gain more storage on your iOS device in just a little bit. Yes, sorry guys, um, you do actually need a computer to actually install this app to your iPhone. Alright, so here on to my computer. All you want to go to the description below and it should take you to this post right here, uh, Senior Geeks. And if you don't know what Senior Geeks, Senior Geeks actually has a lot of helpful information with your iPhone, Apple Watch, or MacBooks. If you have any problems with any of those devices, you can go to Senior Geeks and get um, so many solutions, so many fixes for all your Apple related products. So yeah, so I'm taking you to this post right here. Um, install iCleaner. So you want to scroll all the way to the bottom until you see how to install iCleaner Pro. You want to click on this page right here and it should take you to this link right there. Uh, just click on the uh, download on your browser. It should download. And as well, I'll leave you a link to CD Impactor in the description below. Use it on Mac, Windows, or Linux, depending on what device you have. So I'm running Windows, so I'm clicking on Windows. And you should get these two files right here. So Impactor, you want to extract that to your desktop. All right, so now you want to click on Impactor, click on Run, and this uh, little box should show up. Uh, don't worry about this, this is something else, but when you do connect your iOS device, so your iOS device shows up right here, so let's go ask you for Apple ID and password. Um, once you put in your Apple ID and password, it's completely safe. It goes straight to Apple, it's asking Apple if they can sign this application right here to your device. So yeah, it's all it's doing. It's not going to any third party source or anything like that. It's completely safe. Trust me, I'm using my own personal Apple ID for this. So let me type that in and I'll be back. So put in my Apple ID and password. Make sure if you type it right, guys. I'm getting so many comments that um, create a new Apple ID or it doesn't let me do this make sure you're actually putting your apple id and password right that's all i'm asking for you guys so once you do that once you put put all the information let's go ask you for apple id and password you want to click on ok and little messages will pop up right here is listing teams and you should get a little warning uh that's completely safe it should pop up in any second from now all right so as you can see a this little warning pop up should show up and just want to click on ok it's nothing to be worried about it's just saying that all your developer certificates will be revoked which is nothing really if you're doing this for the first time or the second time it really doesn't matter so um this might take up to two to three minutes depending on your internet connection and depending on how many requests that apple is getting uh from this so i'll be back once it's fully done all right so it's complete it's fully installed to my device and right now we're gonna hop into my device so you can actually see how this actually works all right so jumping into my device as you can see i do have icon right here but first you want to do is go to settings you want to go to general you want to go all the way to the bottom until you see profile device management. You want to click on your email and you should get iCleaner. All you want to do is um, verify the app. I already have verified it beforehand and you want to click on open. Once you open up the app, you should get a warning that this might slow, slow your iPhone. That's only once it's clean. When, when it's cleaning, it does take quite a while. It probably takes 30 minutes. So I do recommend a time that you're not using your iPhone or that you're charging your iPhone so yeah between fast mode and secure mode so secure mode takes slower and fast mode well it takes fast but fast mode does not clean as well as secure so if you really want to get a lot of memory back to your device you want to click secure and you want to allow temporary files to uh clean up and be and let's go give you this warning just click on confirm i do recommend it reading it yourself you do uh, confirm this and you want to start cleaning but before i do this I actually want to show you how much memory that I actually have. So as you can see, I do have 19.85 gigabytes free. But when I do get this um, eye cleaner started, you will see a um, tremendous increase depending on your device and how long have you been using it. So I'm gonna click on continue. And it's gonna be actually cleaning my device. So I actually be back once it's fully done. All right, so if you do get this message on your device, your storage is not full. It's just a bug that's using to actually clean up your device. So it's nothing to worry about. Just So after one hour and 30 minutes in the secure mode of cleaning my device, 
it took so long it was extremely long and it drained almost all my battery i had uh, i think 72 uh, percent at starting this video and it drained it to nine percent so i really do recommend you having the charger connected i didn't have my charger connected i didn't even touch my phone at all i just let it sit there and started cleaning my phone and it drained so much of my battery because it's actually taking its time to actually clean almost everything you can clean on your device so let me confirm this and let's see how much i got so let's go to settings general about so check this out guys 21.22 gigabytes i got back 2.5 gigabytes guys 2.5 that's amazing because i really don't have any apps but like facebook twitter all these apps actually accumulate snapchat as well accumulates a lot of data to your phone and it just wastes now check this out guys i got 21.22 gigabytes available i used to have 19.85 i got 2.5 gigabytes back on my device and for me this is astonishing that you can actually do this without jailbreak so like all these apps like facebook twitter snapchat all these apps actually accumulate data over time and actually fills up your phone but if you do do this um eye cleaner application if you actually do this to your phone you'll get so much back especially on those 16 gigabyte uh, iphones ipods ipads you can get um at least a few gigabytes back from this so yeah okay, so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe more to videos coming away this is jason right here see you in the next one peace